Well, boasting a trophy cabinet second to none, former Olympian Michael Brennan is now looking for further gold to add to the collection with his star pace from WA Pity Tiger. Caught up with Michael following that particular horse. Very impressive trial here at Club and Eagle tonight. Well, Michael, first of all, wonderful to uh, meet you and also thanks very much for joining us. Yeah, no problems at all. It's great to be here. If you're here over looking for further gold, we're going to get into your stellar career as a hockey roo, but Pity Tiger trolled in between races tonight. What were your thoughts? Yeah, I'm really happy with him. Um, just It was just more important to get him here and have a look at the big spacious track um, and for Jimmy to have a, Jimmy Rattray to have a drive on him um, before the Newcastle mile. But yeah, all in all, very happy with the way he went. Um, it's the first decent hit out he's had, so he'll tune up nicely for, for next Friday from that. And Michael, you ticked the first and most important box, the trip from WA to Victoria, then up to New South Wales, and he handled that okay? Yeah, super. He's actually eaten better than he, than he was at home, so I'm really happy with that. Um, and, you know, um, going to Luke's place, it's, um, yeah, she, she's pretty much paradise out there, so it'd be pretty hard not to be comfortable if you're a horse. Michael, a couple of stellar performances in his career, the four-year-old classic group one, and then the Night of Thunder. Yeah, he's, um, he's always shown me a lot of promise, the horse, um, but he's just he's sort of finally reaching that, that potential that I thought he had. Um, his win in the Group 1 four-year-old classic was, was super. He just, you know, like he, he won that quite comfortably. Um, and then the two two nights of thunder, the heat in the final, um, just sort of give us that push to, to come over here because um, he's, he's such a very good high-speed, fast miler. He's now up against stronger opposition from around Australia and across, uh, across the ditch. What will his racing pattern be against this type of opposition? Look, he's got sensational gate speed. Um, so, you know, we obviously wait and see where he draws in the fields, the, um, you know, what sort of speed maps there are. But, you know, he, he can lead, um, but he's a very good trailer as well. Well, you know, strangers are training a good horse on Victorious, uh, certainly one of the highlights of your career to date. Yeah, absolutely. He was a wonderful horse for us. Um, unfortunately, cut down here at Menangle. His career was cut short, but um, you know he still lives at still lives at our place, and um, he's he's living a very happy life at the moment. And you know we've had a couple other real nice horses in between, a couple of Inter Dominion finalists and, and pacing cup place getters as well. Well, you commenced your career back in Toowoomba, your first interest in racing with your uncle going to various stalls, and to quote you, mucking out horse manure was your first experience. Yeah, pretty much. I was um, I just absolutely loved horses. My uncle Clive was a, a gallops trainer in Toowoomba. Um, and from a very young age, yeah, all I want to do is get up there around the stables and just just love the horse, you know. And that's sort of what's very much led me back to back to, um, to to training. So how did it really develop then that you decided I'm going to get involved as a harness racing trainer? Well, after I retired from from hockey, I um, I sort of went walk about for a bit and, and lobbed at um, Russell Jack's place when they were still living in Urine Quinney, and I I went for a weekend and stayed for a year. Um, and that was it. I uh, sort of, I've got, I got the bug for it, and um, from then on in, you know, the horses is all I want to do after that. And Michael, you made sure you rubbed shoulders with the best of the best, so you could improve your knowledge. You mentioned Russell Jack, but Fred Kersley, also Gary Hall Senior, and the late great Gavin Lang. Yeah, look, it's. Um, I was just fortunate to, to fall into those sort of people. Um, but, you know, like, if you, if you didn't learn something from them and you weren't trying, um, the, you know, like, Russell Jack's one of, probably one of the greatest horsemen I've ever, I've ever had anything to do with. Um, Fred Kersley, well, he sort of needs no introduction. Gary Hall Senior was just a great conditioner. And Gavin was just such an elite mind. Um, so, yeah, I've been very, very lucky. Um, but, you know, you, you, if you, as I said, if you don't take something away from rubbing shoulders with these guys, well, then you're just not trying. Well, you've enjoyed a lot of success as a trainer, as you mentioned, but as a driver, you've dipped your toe in the water as far as that was concerned, but didn't really get slipped into it as much as possible. No, look, I love it. I absolutely love the competition, but um, as a professional trainer, um, you know, you've got to put the best guys on your can, and if, if those guys, you know, those guys drive much better than I do, it's a pure, simple fact. Um, if I go to meetings where I, I can't get my usual boys, then I'll, then I'll, I'll punch them around, no problems at all, but, um, you know, like... When, you, when you've got the option to use these the, the full-time professional drivers there, it's just pure common sense to actually put them on. Well, Michael, a stellar career as a Kookaburra, 134 appearances, 53 goals. Where did your career begin as far as wanting to be involved in hockey? Uh, through my mum and dad. Um, you know, I've always been around um, around the hockey fields. They were heavily involved with, with hockey um, and my dad was probably my coach for a good 15, 16 years and, and probably one of the greatest coaches I've ever had, to be honest. Um, but yeah, from, I think I started playing at five years old um, and from then on in, you know, it was, 
it was three, four games a weekend, play under under 11s, under 13s, under 15s, and under 17s, and um, you know, like it was just yeah, it, it was a, it was a lifestyle, but it was um, something I just absolutely loved. And certainly, the Crooked Bowls is one of Australia's and recognised as one of Australia's finest teams. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, back when I was playing, obviously the financial rewards weren't there, but it was very much the the, the thrill of, of putting on a, you know an Australian men's hockey shirt. Um, they 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 are and will continue to be one of the the elite sporting teams in in the Australian sporting landscape. Michael, gold in Athens, bronze in Sydney. Would you have preferred gold in Sydney and the other way around, or? Gaining gold medal in Athens, the home of the Olympics, was that just a bit special? Yeah, look, I was very, very lucky um, to play a home Olympics. Unfortunately, we didn't get the gold medal there. We won a bronze, but to win gold at the home of the Olympics was, um, yeah, extremely special. Um, you know, it's um, it was it was a fantastic Olympics. Um, the Sydney Olympics was amazing as well, but um, yeah, the home of the Olympics was that was pretty cool. Your sporting deeds on the hockey field now, as far as the harness racing trainer is concerned, a Miracle Mile trophy, how will that compare to Olympic gold? Yeah, it would be very much on, on par. Um, uh, you know, with, with hockey, I was always in control of my destiny, but with, with the harness racing, uh, once you hand the reins over to the boys, it's, um, it's sort of out of your hands. So it's, it's a very much a different feel. Um, the couple of, you know, I've been very fortunate to win some, some big races, some big Group 1 races, and... Um, that, that it definitely was as it is as exciting as um, as winning the gold medal winning the group one. Well, Michael, it's been great to catch up with you. Good luck with Pity Tiger. First of all, the Newcastle Mile, then onwards and uh, upwards as far as club and angle is concerned, and hopefully a podium finish. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. You know, it's just wonderful for the owners, and it's a great experience for my fiance and my two twin boys to get over here and do this. Um, you know, it's a dream come true for me to get back over. Um, and, ha and have the quality of horse to bring over and actually be competitive because he's, um, he's got some wheels, this fella.